Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And um, let me let me intro this quote unquote music. Um, this is uh, this is this is actually something that started appearing in my YouTube recommendations. I'd say probably about a week ago. Um, like deep layered brown noise, but there's actually a different color, different colors of noise. There's like I think there's pink noise, uh, purple noise. Uh, white noise. Um, they also had red noise as well. Um, just I'm I'm going with uh, brown noise because it was like the first one that came up. Um, Listen to a little bit of it. It's like yeah, it's some pretty interesting stuff. Um, it's but it's it, it's what it's it's what the it's as the name implies. It's it there's no actual you know music and rhythm and all that. It's it's just that noise. It um. How can I explain? I guess, for those of you that are like me, that uh, you can't sleep without some kind of white noise in the background, like in my case, a box fan. That's that's what uh, that's what this kind of stuff is. So, and um, and no, I don't. I mean, unless the mood takes me otherwise, this is probably just gonna be a one-time thing. I, you never know. I might des decide to go ahead and play the uh play the different colors of noise as well but like i said for right now i just i just feel like playing this instead so but otherwise let's get started um well for today's stream second day um no crashes so freaking awesome uh but as far as um so started my usual started playing some fx3 um it was a new yeah, it's a new matchup week. No, wait. I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't, I don't recall me even doing a uh, the weekly matchup tables on FX3 on Tuesday. No, oh, that's right. It was crashing. That's right. That's right. That's right. So yeah, yeah. So. So yeah, yesterday and today did the new matchup tables, the new weekly matchup tables. Um, uh, so I got up, got out of the red on that, and I should be, I should be able to sustain myself on there to where I don't get dropped out of tier. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. Uh, but as far as the uh, as far as the tournaments go, I actually didn't do very many of them. I only did like maybe a small handful of them. They're either either the tournaments themselves themselves the uh, it's like the stipulations were either either the scores on them were like either way too high for me to for me to even achieve, um, or the um. The stipulations on their tournaments were just, they were just really bad, or they're they just, are basically impractical. So I ended up, uh, I ended up skipping them. So I actually ended up spending most of my time on FX3 just uh, playing random tables. Uh, something I haven't done on FX3 in a very, very long time. I think, I think maybe like the first year, like when I first got FX3, I think probably. Probably the first year when I started playing it, I only did random tables, so it, it's it's not my first rodeo with that kind of thing. Um, but but um, as far as that goes, though, I ended up kicking some major butt on it. Um, I think uh one table back to the future, um, I actually uh beat my previous high score, which which has been standing up, which has been it's been a standing score for like. God knows how long. So, but yeah, I managed to beat it. So, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta make an adjustment or two. Okay. Um, uh, but, but yeah. So, called it good on that. Uh, switched over to Pinball Arcade, and um, I. At first, 
At first I did good. Um, just... I think I... I think I broke the, the top five high scores in one of the tables. I can't remember which. But basically, um, there, it started out good. But throughout the session, it just started getting worse and worse. It just, and then, it just got to where towards the... I'd probably say about an hour about an hour or so in, I really started sucking. But luckily by this time, uh, it was already on the tail end of my session. I had to like, you know, I had to like shut it down and all that, so it wasn't that much of a deal. So. Um, but otherwise, aside from that, um, this is pretty much one of my lazy days. Just sat around, watched random shit. I think I laid down for a nap and it's I feel like I need to take a second one too. So, um, but one thing I did do, uh, once I uh, once I posted up my blog, at some point after, I found I I found out on accident that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge, it's a new beat 'em up game that came out. Um, I found that was out. Um, so, uh, bought it, downloaded, and installed it, and went ahead and played it. Um, it's, it's alright. Um, there's gonna be a chance that, uh, I might actually, uh, I think it costs like 25, 30 bucks. So, there's gonna be a chance that I might end up, uh, I might end up getting a refund on it. But, like I said, I don't know. Um, it's, it's a good game, but definitely not something that I'd probably play every single day. But, you know, maybe if, uh, you know, if I didn't feel like playing anything else, maybe go ahead and fire that up. Uh, but I just did, um, I just did part of the story mode, and then I did multiplayer. And you can have up to, you can have up to six players on that thing. Uh, never again. I mean, just way too many players on that screen. I couldn't find, a lot of time, a lot of the time, I couldn't even find where I was kind of, you know, trying to find my location amidst, you know, the other five players and you got all the, uh, bad guys running around. I felt like, I felt like Waldo. Or, I felt like I was trying to find Waldo. So, yeah. If I do multiplayer on that again, it's probably gonna be, like, just two people. You know? You know, to where I'm still easily, you know, easy to keep track of. So, but, like I said, uh, good game. As far as it warning the $25 price tag, um, I, I'm debating on just going ahead and getting a refund on it. Cause like I said, it, with that kind of dollar amount, I, it's something I, that I'd want to play all the time, not just once in a while. And then, um, I do, um, I do need to do one other thing. So I gotta. Okay, yeah, I, I forgot to add this earlier. But um, one other thing I, I want to mention too before I end up forgetting is um, in a few days uh, Capcom Fighting Collection collection drops so when that game comes out um, I'll definitely be breaking off a pinball and playing this uh, but it's got a it's got a whole bunch of uh, 90s 90s games um, like Darkstalkers Vampire Saviors, that's the uh, second one. And uh, there's a Dark Dark Stalkers 3. They're all uh, 2D fighting games. I played the very first one uh, once in a while, like like when it first came out back in the 90s. It's basically... It's basically a Halloween-themed Street Fighter. So I didn't really think much more of it than that. 
Uh, but one game that it does have in there that I might be playing the living hell out of is uh, Super Puzzle Fighter. That's also part of Capcom Fighting Collection, so that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and forked over the 40 bucks to get it. Now, again, little on the pricey side, 40 bucks. But again, but just Super Puzzle Fighter alone is gonna make it worth it. That was a game that I played the living hell out of back in the 90s. I played it a lot. Yeah, I sunk a ton of quarters in that, but that's what I'm mainly after. But I might all, I might all, I figured, you know, while I'm there, I might as well check out uh, Vampire Savior, see what all the hubbub's about. It's considered one of the most, uh, one of the most popular fighting games of all time. And it does have online mode, and it, I believe it does have rollback, but my experience with rollback, it, it, it can be helpful, but if you're a pull, but if, uh, if everybody is on one single server, it doesn't, it, the points almost move. Like, I have the same experience uh, in Fantasy Strike and Windjammers 2. Like, yeah, rollback is great, but, you know, your opponent is playing, like, way out in bumfuck Egypt. I mean, that's going to be a whole lot of rolling back going on. So, I, mean, I had the same thing with uh, Fantasy Strike and, you know, Windjammers 2. Like I said, um, I mean, having rollback on, you know, on Capcom Fighting Collection is great, but... If the whole entire planet's gonna be lumped into one server, it's like I said, the points almost moot. So, but like I said, I I forgot to mention, I forgot to, I forgot I was gonna talk about that earlier. So, but aside from that, um, played a little bit of Gems of War. I think I played it for about I don't know 15 minutes or so. That's about it. Um, Idol Champions. I'm actually gonna be. I'm either. I'm either going to be playing Killer Instinct, more on that later, either more Killer Instinct or more Idol Champs. There's a, I found a new feature, or they got some, uh, I found some, I don't want to say hidden content, but I just, I discovered some new content on there that I want to try out. So I might actually be playing uh, Idol Champions more than I normally do. So, but let me go ahead and clear, clear the table off. But uh, speaking of Killer Instinct, um, I fired it up. I played it for probably about, I don't know, 15 plus minutes. Like, um, I'm probably going to be playing more of it. Uh, but I I did my usual, just did a one-on-one -on -one or just a, a one-time versus battle. Uh, random select, and just like yesterday, I got Glacius. But luckily, it's a character I like. So... But this time I decided to do a, a different mode with him. It's called Shadow Lab. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. Um, but when I when I listen to the playback on this later on, I'll make a judgment call. But the way it's sounding right now, I don't think I'll be doing this again. See, it's 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 like it's like one single. It's basically like. They're, loop, they're, they're basically looping probably like two or three seconds of actual music and just looping that for like an hour or whatever it said. Some of these are, some of these lasted for 10 hours. No, but, but anyway, um, so again, did a one-on-one -on -one battle, uh, or I should say a one-time battle with Glacius. And then, uh, I did a feature, a, I, Hang on, let me, let me try to say this right. I also went on another feature that the game has called Shadow Lab. And, um, I went in with, took Glacius into there. And then what it is, is, uh, you'll, you'll do, a, you'll do, like, four battles. Um, you'll, um, uh, you'll fight three, you'll fight, uh, you'll fight Jago, the main character, uh, the main antagonist, or antagonist, the main protagonist in that game. Um, You'll fight him three times. Each time, he um, does a different strategy. Like, one, he just tries to melee you. And the second one, he just does nothing but uh, projectile attacks, etc. You know, that kind of thing. So, you fight three versions of him. And then, the fourth version, you fight your own guy. This case being Glacius, with Jago himself. And then, after that, it, uh, it compiles all of your data. 
Um, and then what it what it does is uh, it'll save a shadow version of yourself, um, which is something else that this game has. It's you know it's got single player, um, and then it's got you know multiplayer. You're playing other actual human players, and then shadow mode's kind of a kind of a hybrid. Like uh, like it's just what I said. It'll you'll go in, and this game will record your tendencies and how you play and stuff. And then it um, it uses that data. For uh, any other players that want to play against that, want to play against your shadow. So, like I said, it's kind of a hybrid. So, you're, it. I want to say it's all. It's kind of the way Gems of War works. Their PVP, like. You're not fighting an actual human opponent. You're just fighting the team that he created, or the he's, or you're you're fighting the team that he's, or specifically you're fighting the team that he chose to defend his kingdom with. Like you can have a, like in PvP, you can have an attack team, and then you can you also have a defense team. So again, it's kind of it's kind of a hybrid between single player and multiplayer. So tried it, um, but like I said, I'm I'm kind of liking the way Glacius plays. I I don't I don't have easy access to the information, but um, basically he's Glacius. He's kind of a he's kind of plays like Dalsum of Street Fighter fame. He's like a like a ranged melee fighter. And uh like like I said, he's um when I played Fantasy Strike, um Argagarg, he he was one of my main characters, him and Rook. Rook the uh the grappler, like Zangief. But but like I said, Glacius, he kinda plays like um Argagarg and Dalsum, so So he's more and more Glacius is becoming more and more of my main, meaning I'll probably play him more and more often, but I still like doing random select, though, right when I start Killer Instinct. You know, it's it's the same thing I do with Pinball. You know, playing, most of the time, playing random tables. So. But, well, let me go ahead and clear the table. But, like, but, I'm Really liking it so far. This is uh, day two of uh, of no crashes, so I'm hoping for a third day. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. And this will be my last cast for the week. Um, so Thursday and Friday, I mean, not much of a work week, but there, but but there it is. Uh, but yeah, Thursday and Friday, uh, it's, I was supposed to have worked last night, but I was scheduled off, and technically, I'm supposed to be off, um, on Thursday as well, but I kind of need the hours, I said this yesterday, I mean, I, I, you know, I need, you know, I need some meat on my paycheck, so, even though I'm scheduled off, I'm probably gonna come in tomorrow anyway, so, um, uh, but like I said, um, so today's my last cast for the week. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. Oh, and one other thing I do need to mention. I forgot to do this yesterday and today. Um, my sister, she's in town. She came up from Oklahoma. So I think she leaves. I want to say she leaves either this coming Sunday or Monday. So, and at some point, she she wants to see me again before she leaves, so there's gonna be a chance that at some point between here and Sunday or Monday, that there's probably not gonna be another there's probably not gonna be a stream, so. But we'll 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 see when the time comes when it all gets resolved and all that. So, but until then though, thanks again for coming by everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>